Hey, what's up? This is Mike King with King Family Consulting, and tonight I want to show you kind of a little ninja trick that you can do uh, with your lead generation and uh, why you want to add these questions uh, to your lead generation form and how you're going to be able to leverage this additional information to create more powerful uh, Facebook campaigns. So let me go ahead and share uh, my screen with you and we'll get started. All right, so here I am uh, building out a campaign and uh, we're creating the lead form that the client sees when they click on our ad uh, so that they can request whatever piece of bait uh, we're offering them, uh, we're offering up to them um, in exchange for their information. So uh, when we come in here to questions, Typically, all you're going to see, um, or what most people ask for, is they ask for full name, they ask for email, um, and or phone number, right? So, all great stuff to go ahead and get. Uh, but if you want to uh, basically level up and give your campaigns more power, you need to add these two questions to uh, your lead form. So, first off is... Uh, the most powerful one do you rent or own right and by having them distinguish if they rent or own it's gonna tell you if that's a possible sellers lead or not because if they own a home more than likely they're gonna need to sell it in order to purchase a new home and then we have uh, when are you looking to move and this way you can gauge where they're at in the process and uh, better prepare and maximize your follow-up to accommodate uh, their situation according to what they're saying so add those two questions to your lead form and then here is how we even take this up a, a le uh, another level um, and this is a, a little bit of ninja uh, or a good ninja trick for you so once you've started to collect the data or the leads start to come in, you want to set up um, a way to go ahead and capture that data in one place. Now, typically the way that you want to do that is you want to have this information zapped from Facebook into a lead a leads sheet that collects all the information and the data uh, that you're you're asking. So. This is a lead sheet for one of our clients and we're asking a little bit more information than what I showed you, but uh, it's still just as powerful. Um, and when we're asking them if they're renting or owning, now we can come into our lead sheet and we can segment it by everyone who responds uh, that they currently own. And then what we're doing with this information is we are taking that list of everybody who says they currently own a home and we are building out a custom audience inside of Facebook of everybody who says they are a homeowner and then what we do is we tell Facebook to build us what's called a look-alike audience which means Facebook is gonna take all the commonalities that this list we're feeding it has that these people have uh, based on their past behavior on Facebook and it's going to go out and it's going to find everybody that's just as similar uh, to the people or the prospects on that original list so it's a great way for us to be able to duplicate our efforts so um, if we've got a list of let's just say a hundred people and we upload that uh, we're feeding Facebook a bunch of data that they can then go and pull additional data on their end and say hey here's a hundred more people in this area who all have the same cry or have uh, virtually the same commonalities as these current people and they're more than likely to be in the market as well and really that's the power of you adding those additional questions to your lead form so that you can later leverage that data and create better campaigns right better seller campaigns um, and get more opportunities to have conversations with people who own a home and are potentially looking to uh, move 
in the next uh, the next year or two. You could even narrow this list down depending on how big your original list is. And if you had everyone who uh, owned, and then you asked them, you know, how soon uh, are you looking to purchase? Like we did in that second question, you could take everybody that owns and uh, build your own custom audience off of everybody that owns and everybody that's looking to purchase in the next, you know, uh, 30 to 90 days. That would be even a more powerful audience uh, to build a lookalike audience out of. So that is the power of leveraging your data and building your data pro properly uh, so that you can take advantage of it and have better campaigns. So that's it for tonight's video. Uh, Please do all the necessary social stuff. Please like this video. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, share this video with anyone that you think could benefit from this information. And then leave a question or a comment below if you have one. And we will go ahead and uh, do our best to, to answer those questions and get back to you. So uh, until the next video, make it a great day.